once again, Ben Simmons of 2K TV. It's always so nice to catch up with you. So give me your thoughts on 2K20. It's an exciting Sunday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Los Angeles Clippers going up against the Los Angeles Lakers here in Staples Center. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sidelines. We welcome eight-time All-NBA first-team player. We are... Kevin, thanks. Sure does, DA. Thank you so much. Jack, we talk about the motor of a player like Russell and Westbrook. And we also have some bigs who really get after it. And uh, I'm sure you've got some guys that stand out in your mind in the game now who uh, stand out in that category. Let's see, Montrez Harrell. Oh, yes. DeMontis Sabonis and Andre Mr. Trummer. All good names. Mm -hmm. Big motors. And the Clippers starting five. Baca is out there with Junior. Then it's Williams. Then it's Paul George, and it's Leonard in at the three slot. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Then there's Harold. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Caruso in at the two guard. And the defense knows George can score from there, which is what forces them to kind of compromise at times defensively. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make every one every time. Harold finds James, hangs on the trifecta. Spacing the floor with his supreme shooting, just another thing LeBron James does so well. George passes to Ibaka. Good ball movement here by the Clippers, and Junior throws it down. He is a fantastic athlete for a power four. Whatever he lacks in height, he makes up for it with hop. The Lakers with the ball. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Schroeder surveying the floor. James outside. Four on the clock. Shoots over Leonard. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. And now the Clippers on the break. That ball's nice speed that time from George. Not afraid to get physical there. Leonard makes the shot in spite of the contact. Lakers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Knocked loose. He feeds it to Junior. Outside Williams. Well, you look up at the rafters here at Staples Center. All the banners and Shaq. You helped raise some of them. Was there a pressure in playing for a franchise like this that has got such a great history of championship basketball? You know, this is the kind of pressure you want because I was raised up uh, of, the, of the mind state that pressure is when you don't know where your next meal is coming from. So I, I knew it was some greats that played before me, and I just wanted, wanted to be mentioned with some of the greats. So that, that puts it in perspective. Yeah, it does. And, and you know what? He is definitely mentioned with some of the greats. Yes, he Shaq is. had a great ride and did an incredible job playing for the Lakers. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Clippers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. And George kicks to Junior. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. And both free throws good for Junior. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Left side, Davis. And the Lakers with another miss. Clippers leading by three. And it's Junior missing. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Caruso, the pass to James. That one rolling around and rims out. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration that time. And the pass to Junior. 
it's Schroeder with the ball. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Davis. And it's Junior with the rebound. And Jack, at LSU, it was clear right away that you were ready for the NBA. For guys in a similar position now, do you think they should be allowed to skip college altogether? I don't think you can make a rule for just one type of player. I think it has to work for everybody. You know, plenty of one and dones, uh, and, but, but you got to understand, there's a lot of one and dones that five years into the league, you never hear from them again. Yeah, and listen, the reality is that there is no one way to do anything, right? I think the fact that you have guys that have the opportunity to go overseas, if that's the path they want to choose, but for a lot of them, just like it was for you, Shaq, the college experience is something that you really can't substitute. And so, you know, I'd like to see that option still remain viable. Yeah, I love the court awareness from Kawhi there. Dependable at getting it to his uncovered teammates. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. The Clippers shooting their fifth free throw of the game here. Caruso, and it's sent back by George. And the rejection by Harold. Looking around. And they double up LeBron. A three. And it's Harrell missing. Clippers leading by seven. George with the ball. Picked up by Kuzma. And Junior throws it down. Yeah, and the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. The Lakers making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. Schroeder outside. To stop the drought. Jack, back in the day, you drew double teams. You made the defense pay by setting up your teammates with terrific passing. Big now. Do you see following in, in your footsteps, in those footsteps? You know, my, my uh, uh, Ben Simmons, uh, former LSU guy, uh, when he gets aggressive in the paint, they double, he definitely looks for his players. Listen, LeBron James is the best passer among non-guards. Anthony Davis, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, Joel and B. Look, you gotta use the others if you want to get to that next level. Here's Schroeder. A shot that time, not on target. And the Clippers will come the other way. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against the Thunder. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. In-game adjustments are critical. They did an awesome job taking what the defense gave them. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That's on Lou Williams. The Lakers have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes here for the Lakers. Markeith Morris comes in for James. And it's Caldwell Pope in for Alex Caruso. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Zubox is checked in for Ibaka. Marcus Morris comes in for Leonard. Kennard, he's checked in for George. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Lou Williams. Kuzma finds Schroeder, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. You can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Now, here's Junior playing Oklahoma. Oh, that was something else. And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. Here it kicks to Gasol. Kuzma against Morris. Nice interior defense. Can't give him any space inside or he'll burn. But one of the things you're, you're most known for, Shad, your destruction of backboards. <laughs> were, you, were you ever trying to bring down the backboard, or, or did it just happen? Well, I had a lot of force, you know. I uh, just wanted to bring it down. I, I, I think the game that comes to mind was uh, uh, playing against the New Jersey Nets. And uh, Dwayne Shinsis was trying to guard me one on one, and I just took the first one. I was actually trying to rip it down, and it, it happened naturally. First time that it happened to you? What was, what was the first time? How old were you in the first room you 
backboard you brought down? First time was in high school, probably 17 years old. Okay. Actually, in front of my house, I have a broken room tree. Do you? I know you don't believe me. I'm going to show you. You believe me? I, I, who am I, no, to, who no, am I not to believe you? I'm going to show you. All right. Me. He's going to look it up on his phone. Isn't that nice? So you can just bring a little history up to us. That's a gorilla I just bought. <laughs> Did you see that? Right there, look. Broken room tree. See it? Oh, my God. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Oh, that's... So I broke uh, seven rooms, so I got so I got seven rooms on the tree. That's how fun is it? Hey, don't be swiping too far now. <laughs> uh, I don't want to swipe. It might get swiped. Yeah. I don't want to. Is this at the house here? Yeah. That's the gorilla I bought. <laughs> Where you getting that? Uh, discount furniture. He was just sitting there looking pretty. <laughs> so I went in there with the guy. I was like, hey, how much is gorilla? He was trying to be big time. Uh, we don't... I don't. I probably wouldn't sell it. If I if I was to sell, I'd sell it for four thousand. I'm like, okay, no problem. There you go. He goes, it's all yours. And they have a dinosaur. I'm thinking about going to pick him up tomorrow. Anyway, uh, too much force for the backboard. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The Clippers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game, and he knocks down the first one. <laughs> And both free throws, good for Junior. Shaq, we're seeing former players becoming NBA owners. Like Michael Jordan and Magic and Grant Hill. And Shaq, you've joined that list. What's that experience been like so far for you? You know, it's just another way for us to connect with the league. Uh, you know, we're still trying to grow the game. You know, this game has done a lot for us. We want to continue to grow it as the years go on. And it's nice to be invested in this. And, and how much of your time do you invest in the, in the ownership. I wish I invested more time, but I've made the conscious decision that I don't want to be a coach or a general manager. The conscious decision. Yeah, because yeah. I, I get I get I get into it. You know, I'm, I'm old school, and uh, this is a, a different generation. And certain things I don't allow, I will probably get upset. I will be one of the general managers that you see in the tunnel with his arms folded, not not smiling at all. But you're about 20. I don't care. Okay. Not happy. So I just. I'm an absentee owner, that's what they call it. <laughs> Kuzma can't get it to go. And they've come out with a take-no-prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. Schroeder against Beverly. Inside to the paint. Here's Junior. They get it again. A second-chance effort. Zubac trying to break loose. He kicks it to Junior. Back to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's still early. They've expended a lot of energy, but they've also built a nice cushion here. Schroeder against Beverly. And it's Schroeder missing. Clippers leading by 14. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. To the inside. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Schroeder. Kuzma outside. That three off the mark. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Well, you think defensively that you're trying to pack in the lane. I mean, but that, that opens up some opportunities for their shooting. There's Schroeder. And again, no good by the Lakers. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. The Clippers on top, up by 16. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. Mark Gasol regarding his former teammate in Toronto, Kawhi Leonard. The way he plays defensively, you know what he stands for. 
And of course, Gasol and Leonard won the championship together in 2019, largely Greg because of their ability to play defense and get stops. And two former Defensive Players of the Year on the same team, that's going to be your foundation. But both guys were tremendous at the other end as well, albeit in different ways. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, we've seen a competent-looking Clippers team out there. What we saw in that first quarter, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. They've got Contavious Caldwell Pope. Anthony Davis is out there with Montrez Harrell. Then there's Kyle Kuzma, and it's Schroeder in at the one spot. That's the group for the Lakers to start the second quarter. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Thunder, put on a show. He ended up with 62 points, and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. It's rare to see any player put up numbers like that. It's likely a game he'll always remember. Kevin? Yeah, David and stretches, he was absolutely done. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. It's all about getting into a comfort zone early. When he does that, he could be very difficult to contain the rest of the way. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Shaq, you stay very involved with the game, hang out with a lot of the players, talk with coaches, you go to many games. Name some personalities that you enjoy the most, guys you like hanging around with. Well, I hang around with everybody, but a few guys shaped my mentality. Uh, the gentleman next to you, he doesn't know this, but I knew that when he was in college, he already had a t-shirt business, a real estate license, <laughs> so I really learned the business from him. And it was D. Scott. D. Scott taught me to, you know, just have fun and be silly. Uh, Alonzo taught me to be, be serious and be more focused. Uh, you know, hanging out with LeBron and Kobe. I'm just uh, happy to, to, to have the ability to just be blessed and just meet so many people. That's a varied list. That is. And a nice compliment it's to a, you. It's an honor to be on that list. Yes, I'm right. That's the first name on the list. You ain't know I knew about the real no, estate, I did you? Yeah, I bought a house and that's you overcharged me for the interest, but that's okay. <laughs> well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Caldwell Poe passes to James. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. I love how James works inside. Perfect balance of grace and Massad. Floats it up for Junior. And Junior throws it down. And, and what can you say about an alley hoop from that far away? You can't say anything. It was pure beauty. LeBron kicks to Caruso. Pass to Davis. against George. Just five to shoot, and that one drops for him. LeBron's got seven. Hey, that plays goals about as expected. LeBron converts through contact as well as anyone I've ever seen in my life. And it's Junior missing. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have. And thanks for coming by. Entertaining as always. Happy to have you on the program. You have an open share anytime you want to join us. Anytime, Kevin. My pleasure. Whatever you guys need me, just give me a call. If I'm not doing Icy Hot Krispy Kreme or the General Insurance, <laughs> you just give me a call. Other than that, you'll be free. Yeah, I'll be free. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> Awesome is it to have Shaq with us, a guy who's been in the limelight for so long, and yet he seems to deal with it effortlessly. You can have a sign of true greatness, making difficult things look effortless. Shaq did it on the court for 19 years, 15 as an all-star, and now he's doing it as an analyst. 58 seconds left here in the second. Schroeder comes with the double team. It's stolen by Schroeder. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. Morris. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Wow. Morris is a physical guy. Solid is staying active on the boards and gobbling up these rebounds. To the middle. Here's Junior. And Junior throws it down. 
And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Schroeder outside. Order for him, ice cold. I mean, it may be time to give him a breather. Maybe someone off the bench can get him a spark. Junior, and Junior throws it down. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly, just dishing the ball to the wide open man, East. Schroeder outside. For three. Can't hit that one. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. But thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. You look at Junior in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. It could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. Setting the floor for the Clippers. We've got Ibaka. Williams is out there with Paul George. Then it's Junior, and it's Leonard in at the small forward. Left side, Davis. Passes it to Caruso with it and it's junior with the rebound junior's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here the clippers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line the first free throw is good both shots good from the strike Lakers shooting at ghastly 26% from the field. Their offensive game looking completely out of whack. Back to Schroeder. That one, no good. Williams with the defensive effort. Down low. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's going to be on Montrez Harrell. One is off. Good on the second free throw. About one minute played here in the second half. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. His effort level is there. You, you can't blame him on that. He's working to get good shots. It's just not connecting. Junior dishes to Ibaka. Great D that time from Harrell. The Lakers have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. And Harrell shoots it in. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around. To the inside. And Junior throws it down. And, and he just keeps on going. He's got more points than anybody else out there. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. And for everything that Anthony Davis does on the floor, you can't forget about his defense. Still an elite-level defender, guards multiple positions, and turns away a number of shots. Five to shoot. The three from Davis. Here's Harold, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Numbers this year at the line below 70, so when he's getting to the line, not nearly as effective as he'd like. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible, and he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical, gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position does everything you want from a defensive anchor. Lakers have gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half start. Pass to LeBron. Another shot. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. The Lakers have shot six or seven at the line. 
And as he's aged in the league, Anthony Davis's offense has changed. It now much more of a face-up player. Well, and that's where his game's been headed. His shot has improved, and he can step out to the three, facing up and letting him use his burst. lets him maximize what he can do. Lakers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half, the two of eight. Schroeder outside over Williams. Kept alive. Here's Davis, banked in off the glass. Davis has got five points in the quarter. Okay, look how competitive Davis gets for the ball. He knows how valuable second shots are. Williams looking around. Here's Junior, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Great, we're seeing the game evolve. We're seeing more and more big men displaying perimeter skills. Do you like that, or is there a part of you that misses those days when it all played out inside the lane in a very condensed area? Listen, Kev, I think the game has kind of evolved on from uh, the impact that the bigs had on, on the interior, but not the impact that they're having on the game. Uh, it, 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 the reality is the game just doesn't stand still. And, and now as a big, you've got to have far more versatility. you got to be able to play in space. Uh, and, and as a fan, I just find the game to be more appealing to watch with the freedom of movement, the flow, uh, and, and more of the skill set being put on display. I agree. Clippers with the ball. Clippers have gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Junior. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Free throw good, Junior. Markeith Morris has checked in for Montrez Harris. And both free throws good for Junior. And as a team, they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line. They've gotten better as the game has gone along, which is exactly what you want to see. Here is Cook. He's usually able to provide some lift to his team, averaging six points a game. Morris passes to Davis. It's stolen by Morris. Off target from three-point range. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. The first one falls for him. Aldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. And then for the Clippers, Lou Kennard comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Jackson in for Lou Williams. Good, good. Caught the defense now. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Jackson with it. Picked up by Davis. And good! There's another. My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. James against George. And it's Davis with the jam. Oh, the time. Sense for when to rise up and slam down the alley. Now Jackson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Jackson. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. To the middle. Good, good. Cook's got five points in the quarter. Oh, man. I love Davis's ability to read the floor. He's improving his ability to create for others. Outside Jackson to the paint. Junior. Good. He hits again. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Here is Cook. He has five, and Davis wide open. He shoots. Nice open look, but it's no good. Now the Clippers moving it up. Here's Junior, a rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. In the corner, it's James. The Clippers grab the miss. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. 
The pass to Junior. He can't hit that time. Good work defensively by Morris. Caldwell Pope on the wing, guarded by Jackson. And here's Morris for three. Offensive rebound, second chance shot, and it's Davis laying it in. Davis has got 15. Oh, uh, embracing contact all the way up. I mean, Davis is terrific at keeping his composure on these challenging finishes. Jumps up and finished off by LeBron. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact stuff. Oh, yeah, bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Jackson, that's good. Oh, and Jackson is very gifted at finishing through aggressive defense. Just a master at controlling his body. Cook the pass to Davis. Back to Cook. Some solid defense there from Jackson. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. And it's Junior missing. I love to see the defense exhibit some passion in, in protecting the rim right there. Good, good. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. Yeah, and defensively, you'd like to see a greater effort to change ends. Jackson passes to Kennard. Now Leonard. It's good. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. The Lakers shooting 41% from the floor so far in the third. It's tipped. A minute 50 left to play in the third. Junior and Davis sends it back. And you see how the Browns led the league in swaps. <laughs> Not only the wingspan, but the awareness. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Leonard, no luck. The Lakers shooting a low, low 30% right now, an ugly offensive performance. LeBron against George. And James gets it to go. LeBron's got 11 points. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. It's stolen by Davis. One oh three left in the third. James in the post. Kennard covering. LeBron is doubled. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Lakers with possession here. Lock at six. Cook kicks to James. From deep three-point range. And it's Junior with the rebound. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Oh, trying to take advantage of that extra space on the perimeter. Oh, we see a lot of this now. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Morris. Pass to Davis. And it's Davis with the jam. So tough to contain Davis when he's on a roll. He's got the physicality and an expansive all-around skill set. And Junior throws it down. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Cook looking it over. Passes to LeBron. So it's the Los Angeles Clippers out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And now let's go back to a play. For Clippers, Junior's checked in for Zubox, and it's Jackson in for Patrick Beverly. One shot. That free throw good from Patterson. Lakers shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. Anthony Davis is out there with Mark Gasol. 
and it's LeBron James. Then there's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Kuzma in at the three spot. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Davis. It's not going to go for him. The Clippers shooting about 47% here in the fourth. Outside for Jackson. Inside. And Junior with the basket on the assist by Jackson. Junior's got 56 points in the game. The Lakers shooting it brilliantly here late. 60% from the field. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Milton. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Clippers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And with this win, they'll end up notching another victory for this year's campaign, win number 33. And once the horn sounds, they're going to go up 2-0 in the season series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Junior. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Here's Junior, hits it again, wow! 60 points, this guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. And so Gasol will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to McKinney. Just stopped the run. Back to Gasol. Clock at four. Three-pointer. And it's Junior with the rebound. to the inside and got it another basket that's 62 points 62 amazing a, a remarkable performance from him so far five seconds separating the shot and game clocks McKinney kicks to Dudley here's Horton Tucker it's defended by Milton through the contact from long range and he almost got the hoop to fall Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. No good on the free throw. He's good on the second. And he nails the third. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And there's the pass to Junior. Connects again. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. The Clippers winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.